Queer Nation. Queer Nation. Queer Nation. Queer Nation. She's gorgeous, she's Australian, she's a gay icon, and she's even shorter than me. Kylie Minogue was in New Zealand for two days promoting her new album. I tracked her down at Auckland's Key West Hotel. Now, I guess you're aware that you are a bit of an, a gay icon, which is why we're totally stoked to have you on Queer Nation. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, there, you are very, very popular in the queer culture in these parts, and um, why do you think that is? Why do you think the boys love you? Uh, I always start to twitch, just like when, <laughs> when I'm asked that, because it, um, I like not really knowing. I, I would hate to get to, um, Over to find the, the mm. answer and, and because it's so magical, it's just so brilliant. I mean, talking about that performance at the Mardi Gras City, it's just, you know, it's brilliant and to, to have such a loyal, strong following, it's just... Yeah. Blows know, my mind. It's quite amazing at the Albury in Sydney, which is yes. very, very gay. And I they never have got... seasons and seasons of <laughs> Kylie drag. It's just incredible. <laughs> but actually, I think um, oh, I did an interview the other day, and this guy came in at the end and said, Kylie, all your drag queens, they're confused. They don't understand the guitar riffs. And I said, <laughs> I'm really sorry, but trust me, my next video is especially for you. It's, it's, there's four Kylies. Especially there's, for you. Great especially fun. for you, yeah. <laughs> Boom. There's uh, cute Kylie, dance Kylie, sex Kylie, indie Kylie, and they're all, there's this huge cat fight in the middle of the video where they're all trying to sing the song, and it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's quite choreographed, and I just cannot wait to sing the drag queen version. <laughs> they out act me, I'll be left, you know, like, like I was doing Shakespeare, you know, because yeah. they'll be so over the top. This video is Some Kind of Bliss, the first single from her new album. Unfortunately, it's not due for release until January, but it will be worth the wait. Yeah, I've worked with four different producers, right. um, Brothers in Rhythm, who did Confide in Me, so, so their music is, is mm. um, dance-oriented, it's very kind of cinematic and lush. Um, Dave Ball, who was in The Grid and Soft Cell, so that's, for the most part, got a dance edge in its sound. Yeah. Um, Manic Street Preachers, the first single, is, is a collaboration with them. There's another song of theirs on the album. It's just a total sunny day. It's the biggest pop song. It's just <laughs> top down driving. That's, that's all I ever think of with it. Beverly <laughs> Sisters. Yes. Elton John <laughs> and yeah. Drag. Tell me about that. Yeah, Elton John and I sang Sisters by the Beverly Sisters at the Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> by the way, same place I recited I Should Be So Lucky was Nick Cave. So I have done two very different things there. Yeah. Um, and it was hysterical. He was dressed as Donatella Versace. I was squeezed into this dress with his long blonde hair and oh, mincing about in shoes. And it was brilliant. It was a really great, great version. I mean, I think performers like, like him, they're so adaptable uh, mm. and so good at um, letting you work with them. You know, it was just, it was a shared moment and mm. it was really quite hysterical. Any plans to play the Mardi Gras again? Or I mean, you're very welcome to come for Hero here, you know. I just, I'm just learning about the Hero. Is it Hero Parade? Yeah. Yeah. And party, um, and it's a whole season, actually. Yeah, could be tempted. Yay. Um, I'll have been writing. <laughs> and the Mardi Gras, uh, I, I would, yeah, I, I would definitely love to do it again. There was so many dancers, they went on stage. Then I came up on a riser, just hoping, or my only concern was falling off my head. Like, I thought most of the Kylies here are about seven feet tall, so I have to wear high heels. But I hadn't allowed for the rostrum that was rising and jiggling and dancing, bouncing up and down. Oh no! Um, so that came up. Then there was dancers in front of me. Then they peeled away. Then I turned around, and then, so it's got intensely like higher and higher and higher, and to the point where I think the place didn't really let go until I started singing because. Before singing, they knew it was me, but they weren't quite sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just turn around, unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you a question that all the boys will be dying to know? Is what's it like kissing Jason Donovan? <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked me that the other day. I said, "Boys don't know what it's like kissing Jason Donovan now." <laughs> True. But uh, yeah, it was good a long time ago. So. <laughs> and what about you? Have you ever kissed a girl? Uh, yeah, I did. I woke up one morning and, and had, I shocked myself. I was, did I? I did. <laughs> it was a quite a big night. So. 
Yeah. And that's all you're going to tell me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I won't go in, into any details. <laughs> Kylie? You know I'm saying Kylie? Where is she? Oh, I'm just, I'm just coming out of the closet. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Come on, doll.